What's up guys, this is The Roferman, and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to pick up what happened last time, we drove down in the on the northern coast of America, and we captured New York, and we've taken, we pushed them out of Hartford, uh, the, the standing Russia, uh, standing American army out of, uh, out of Hartford, pushed them back across this bridge, and we recaptured Virginia, which I stu well, not stupidly, but the, the AI, well, the, well, it was stupidly really, the army I forgot about here, ran up and captured it again. But I've recaptured it. And then, yeah, effectively what's happened is the AI is kind of clustered to the east, to the west, sorry. I'm not sure if they want to break out towards Michigan. Um, the trouble is, is that we are advancing on them in all fronts, so this army is going to pretty much hold here. Um, this army in Williamsburg is going to push up and try to engage them in battle next turn. This army will probably go to threaten Philadelphia, and this army will probably go to threaten Iroquois Territory. And if I can pin down Iroquois Territory, then this army under Niagara can move south to engage these armies too. Um, but that's the plan. Uh, whether or not it stays that way, I don't know. So let's hit end turn and see how we get on. So Quebec's managed to, they, they dropped a fleet, an army, off the coast of Jamaica. Um, no, how about just trade? <laughs> I don't want to give them a reason to go through my land, because I've got... Well, there's no one really I, they need to go through me to get to. Unless they wanted to go to, a, they wanted to attack the Americans, but they could land off their coast. Unless they didn't want to do that. Uh, so here's, okay, so let's see where they go. Are they going to fortify? Are they going to hold? Ooh, they've not quite made it to, not to that territory, so I've got some time. Ooh, and this will be an interesting one, because there's no... Well, there's no walls. I'm still going to have to fight it, though. Um, oh, I'm pretty well replenished, mostly. Got some good artillery. This could still... This could end up being a loss for me, just because they've got a lot of reinforcements coming in. Um, but even so, I'll... These armies will be so depleted that when I bring up my army from Virginia, um, it should be an easy win. Well, not an easy win, but a pretty good win. Um, so let's fight it and let's see. Uh, let's see how we do. And they've got more of it than I have, so I can do a certain amount with concentrating my firepower and things like that. But there's a limit to the things you can actually do with weaker troops and fewer numbers of men. There is that limit. But let's say uh, canister shot could win the day. And I'm obviously... <gasps> big, nice hill to deploy on too. So I want to deploy a bit down. Too bad I've not got quick climb. If I quick climb, then you know I'd be super duper confident. So let's deploy you, you, you. Yeah, that is that is militia on the flanks, unfortunately. I might have to manually deploy these. Just to maximise that firepower they provide. Fusileros guarding the right with two units of musketeers, not musketeers, militia here. These guys are each going to have a unit of uh, cuirassiers to guard them. And then my general obviously is going to probably take a, re a fighting position too. Okay, sending my artillery does not within range, but my foot artillery is. But holy moly, look at that. One gun knocked out. So many targets. That's a lot of artillery. So my my objective for this mission could well become kill as many as I can. So that my nether, my next army can come in from the south. It's the cavalry that's going to kill me in the end, I think. Oh, 
At least my howitzers can engage now. Three pounder, three pounder. To be honest, that, those three pounders are still going to need focusing. knock out some of the guns would be a win. So their Colonial Light is attacking. Let's see if I can get a cheeky canister shot off with them. Nope, not enough in time. So let's get you back to firing on the artillery. But at least that's two units of cavalry routing. Let's get them both targeting that unit of household cavalry because that will be a concern. And they're making a beeline straight for my guns. So you, how what's, what's your status on guns? Okay, so you're getting a round off now. Delicious. You are so scary. So the more of you I can kill now. The better. Oh, have faith in your ability to withstand the attack. Okay, now let's start targeting my... I've hit my guns, which is fair enough. So the guns are remanned. Okay. So let's get in my howitzers to stop pounding the infantry now. Oh no! I think we're going to lose this union of guns. Fair enough, AI. That's the smart thing to do. You guys are going to end up being too far out on the flank to do anything useful, so let's peel you in. If anything, where's my unit of cavalry? Right. End around, hit those guns. Go get him. Same with these guys. These guys are going to be too out of the way to do anything super useful. Even though they are just smelly old militia. Okay, these light dragoons fancy their luck. No, they don't. Keep going. So my cavalry, I could send a hoover around the guns and do some damage. It's a, a general. Let's get him over here and get him to engage his cavalry. It's household cavalry, no less. Let's break through the gap. Hit that unit of continental marines. So 
retarget my artillery. So you may as well hit that unit of dragoons. You guys both hit that unit there. So let's fall these guys back. Let's run these militia back. So you reform my little line. Good, they're shattered. Try assassinate the bodyguard. General's bodyguard, sorry. It's that unit of artillery. Let's go take our boost. The other unit of artillery. Militia routed. So I'm not going to be able to get it all, unfortunately. Ooh, I might be able to make them route just from gunfire from the Fusiliers. Good. Go hit the horse artillery. Ah, see, they're looking to redeploy. Okay, here come the reinforcements. They're starting to come into play now. Hey, my other unit of militia came back. Okay, you need grenadiers, so you're going to want to do this. And you're going to want to do this, and you're going to want to engage them in as much fire as possible. Oh. Now let's get you near Cassius to hit this artillery, because before they get too engaged by that unit there. Chase after that unit. So before we take too many more losses, try and make this unit of horse artillery route. It's gonna be artillery to hit this unit of foot infantry. Oh, something's not happy. Pretty sure it's my USB stick. It's my uh, external hard drive. Good. Get him the hell out of dodge. Yeah, yeah, you're wavering, that's fair enough. That's why I'm getting you out. Okay, so let's take my... See, when you're one unit of grenadiers, you might be brilliant, but when you've just got lots and lots and lots of mediocre troops, it does enough. So is that artillery right at the back of the map? Yeah, it is. So this is some of the reinforcing armies coming in. Ooh, if I could knock out their general, that would be lovely. Okay, so let's get you to hit this unit of line infantry. Probably get my heart just to pack up and then start to pivot my line. Because the thread axis has changed. To be honest, I think they'll probably be okay there. Just reorientate them. Let's run my horse guards out of the way so they're not hit by misses. Good. Pretty much just one of them pointing more towards the enemy than they were previously. Shh. Why have you gone all the way over there? Just shuffle forward so that you're within range of those dragoons. Hmm. 
bit of death aid. Charge? Poor old Dragoons, who are you charging? Where's my general? Okay, let's get you to go around like so and get ready to picket that unit of gun that unit of artillery. this opportunity to hit a pretty healthy unit of uh, unit of infantry. Ooh, late marines. And let's take this weaker unit to hit the guerrillas. Wheel in the, musk the infantry right. Because yeah, once I've chopped them up a bit with these guys, they should very quickly become shattered. general to run fall back my marines my <laughs> let's get out of here where's my other cavalry at? there you are keep chipping away at him oh that was an excellent series of shots The Marines are going to cheat. Are going to charge my, my my militia, and they will chew them up. The guerrillas can charge, though. They won't do very good. It's two years of continental Marines, so let's get my heart just to folk on the outermost one, so I can make them rout then. I can get them with my cavalry. Too late, horse artillery. You're not going to get away from that. Let's just get my foot artillery to focus on the ones in the centre. Let's get my howitzers to focus on the one on the outside. Got a bit of protection. Ooh, they are wavering. Oh no, no, it's my cavalry. So they're being hit by some of the misses. Okay, so let's do this. Pivot my line back and do that. So my infantry, I'll still have some support from some line infantry and from my muscaderos. Ooh, that was a big puff of red I saw come out of you. Speaking of, I didn't realise they were just engaging my militia. You're going to get shot at by many, many more people than you were before, mateys. Only a handful of losses, though, still. So I'm going to bring this cavalry back, because my target is going to be the um, these marine units. The new marine units. Everyone else is just gravy. So I might just hit them now. Let's 
get my howitzers to change targets to the rangers and get my foot howitzers to hit the marines. Let's speed up time because I'm pretty sure we can all guess how this is going to go. Bring my general back. Um, let's continue. So let's halt my artillery shots completely. Now my infantry keeps shooting because they don't seem to be able to make up their mind about which way they want to go. Let's get my general over here. Halt my militia firing and then just go right at him with my general. America's elite chomped down by a Spanish, or well, what would have been a Spanish nobleman. So you want to keep clicking, otherwise they get complacent. <laughs> Six, two, one, chomp. You, your guys have got away or you've done it. Hit that unit of rangers. You're going to be fine. So let's bring my general straight through the line. Straight into them. Although I doubt they're going to make it in time. Two, one, zero. So the only thing that's left. Poor unit of rangers. But this is what happens when you attack uh, Mexico, you know? Get your heads chopped off. Even a thing that happens today. Got him. Cool. Thought I was going to be a lot more uh, dangerous than the big game change there was me realising that cavalry can run very fast and you can run them an awful long way and put them around the outside. But that's more like it. Dest oh, that army's destroyed. That army's knackered. Ah. Oh. Yes, because you're you've got lots of cavalry. But this supporting army is knackered, so let's fight again. Holy moly. Region, that's for sure. Whew. Overgrown military establishments are under any un, are under any form of government in species liberty. Uh, to regard his... Yeah. Well you know what, George? We're doing you a solid in this campaign. We're solving your problems about military establishments for you. You'll be under a Mexican military establishment. Be that much of a problem. Okay, it's a lot more congested and not as conducive to defensive play as I would as I would prefer. Nevertheless. Make a good go of it. Although, can I not? I can't deploy out on out. They can deploy out here, but I can't. Or can I? No, there's my there's my deployment line. Nuts. Okay. So basically no, they've got lots of cavalry initially, and then afterwards they've got lots of artillery. No, lots of infantry, sorry. So why don't I just put my former little redoubt in here. Let's pick suitably sized infantry units to fill the gaps. You can't go in there yet, but you will. So this is going to be a little... A little HQ. And then... So let's, let's group these units together. Actually, I might put my fuser there, isn't there? Because they're good at shooting, but not so good at combat. So that's probably where I want you. And I probably want you as a reserve. So let's take you and my fuser there. group. Put 
my artillery out here with the aim being to I can't even can't deploy my guys anywhere ha that'll do to get with the idea to deploy these guys out here with a nice field of fire lots of firing arcs then the left I'll put under the guard of my militia in the trees backed up by a unit of cavalry but I need my main cavalry on the right and my general so I think I'm going to want to do this oh nuts I, can, I see exactly where that reinforcing army is coming in So let's get this solidified first. Probably got my cuirassiers over here to support my militia again. Oh, Mr. You never line. But that's good. Oh no, I'm going to blow my own building up. I'm not going to blow it up, they're going to blow it up. My militia, doing ex my artillery is doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Okay, you both hit them, I can hear them charging. Cuirassiers. Charge you into them. You're the general, so I'm not worried about you. When you're ready, I will send in my guys to attack you. Lots of cavalry. Lots of cavalry. Lots of stuff. But I want my cuirassiers through. Oh, fine, hit the light horse. Square. So the dragoons are coming back. Let's move up. These are your native auxiliary, so they're not very good. Let's get my cuirassiers over here to help save this unit. my cuirassiers. Get them in! There you go, got my cuirassiers on the flank. To be honest, throw them in as well. Charge them in to hit this unit of dragoons. Crossiers, go take on their horse artillery. God, they're crossiers, but I need to do something. Got my own cuirassiers into the mix. Let's use my militia and howitzers to fire onto the grenadiers. Dragoons on the flank to set up my general to respond. Okay, good. So let's take all of you guys who aren't 
cavalry. Ooh, someone got through. Ah, General's... I was wondering, is my General going to die? As I wondered. Poof! There he goes. So who do I want to kill? Get stuck in. They're only the wrong row for me. Off that unit of line infantry, it's weak. Send you to go tackle that artillery unit. Oh, they're gonna route, so just go hit them, I suppose. Run them into the back of the long riflemen. Halt fire on the artillery. So you're going to be chopped down by my guys? Yep, sure enough. Wow, they didn't quite well. Oh no, loads of them got back up. Continue, because I want to see if I can take out this. Can you take out horse artillery unit as it's routing? Not if you don't get to it. Come on, it's just the one guy. Chippity chop. Chop. Oh no, there he is. Chop. I think it's my general that's left. Ah, nuts, they got away. Say to me, all of my region, but I can just recruit another one. More good generals are excellent. Um, I've generally never found them to be so critical as to need is to put too much effort into worrying about them oh they're gonna right rob my ports they're gonna not rob it but you know raid let them pass i didn't want to do another fight i could have auto resolved it but see this is the trouble britain you've got your an army tied up on a fleet so if you want to use your fleet you have to risk your army and while you're probably not risking it with the navy you've got they're not using it and granted, I've got armies around I'm not using, but I'm not... They're positioned. The army in Spain is waiting for an attack to come. The army in the Americas is waiting for an attack to come. So I'm glad I've got my rake so I can get some visibility as to what's actually going on. Obviously Genoa is doing what they did in my last campaign and they're slowly expanding. But I want to see if the Prussians... So the Prussians took Great Britain, that would be a major problem. Hmm. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this They've region. Sabotaged my building. Okay, so let's. Give you them. Give you them.
Mm. Wait for now, but I want these guys to move up and lay siege to Philadelphia. They might even they might even attack it. But it's recruiter general. Pedro Garocho. Replenish. Everyone replenish. You're fairly replenished, so I might move you out. Don't worry, America, you'll like me once I get some exports through you. Let's get my knackered chewer up fleet to fight their chewer up their um not chewer up fleet, that's stupid. Their uh, raiding fleets or potential raiding fleets, yeah. Raid away. I'm not going to uh, there you go. Let's do a bit more recruiting, but this army's pretty much finished. But we're in a really good spot, I think. Yeah, lots of raids, 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 roads. But then let's get some investing on the go. Governor's barracks as far as you can get. Gunnery school, ordnance board. <sighs> to be honest, I think I probably will fight this. Um, but looking at the timer, definitely not this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time where I will assault Philadelphia.